And joining us now in a Closing Bell exclusive interview is Aurora Cannabis CEO, Miguel Martin. Miguel, how significant is it what, what Amazon did when it comes to changing its policy, testing workers for marijuana? I think it's really significant. I think, you know, if you look at the mainstreaming of cannabis and not only the support that Amazon put behind their workers, but also their support of the MORE Act, which is a critical piece of legislation, it's really important. We couple that with what we've seen in Alaska, where cannabis legislation had more votes than any other politician and the steady drumbeat of the passing of both medicinal and, and recreational policies in the U.S. and around the world. I think, you know, it's consistent, but a critical component to the mainstreaming of cannabis around the world. What do you think Amazon is up to in supporting that that federal legislation, which passed the House, but is, is not likely to pass the Senate with the filibuster? I think, you know, it's hard for me to say, but, you know, what I would say is it's a recognition of, of exactly where this issue is going. You know, they've announced a significant amount, you know, of employees will be in Virginia. And the state of Virginia has obviously announced their position in the legalization of cannabis. And so I just think, you know, it's getting ahead of what we're seeing nationally. I just don't think there's any chance that we're not talking about it, but we're talking about when. Um, it's a great issue, both sides of the aisle, both political and social. And it's not just the U.S. You look at you know, places like Canada, where it really is a core component of the medicinal market. We happen to be the number one medical cannabis company in Canada, but also in other you know, key European markets, such as Germany, um, new announcements that we see in France and progression in the U.K. It's definitely a global phenomenon. So, so the question then is back to your company and other Canadian companies. As you say, you're a leader in medical cannabis, but, the, but you've struggled and some of the others have as well in the Canadian market lately. Can a Canadian leader become a U.S. leader as the U.S. does open up legally for marijuana? No, there's no question. If you look at what it takes to be successful in the U.S., you want regulatory compliance, you want innovation, you want experience. And the same regulatory pathway, which is incredibly conservative and difficult to navigate in Canada, Germany, France, and all around the world, that experience clearly sets us up to be successful in the U.S. The same companies like Aurora are being successful in country after country after country. And there's just not a scenario that that's not going to add value in the U.S. I strongly believe that there'll be a federal framework for cannabis. Uh, President Biden's been very consistent about decriminalization with a start in medical that benefits companies like Aurora. I fully expect the FDA you know, to find a role in regulating this category. And there's a strong correlation between what you'd see in Canada, manufacturing, packaging, sales and marketing, to be a responsible manufacturer of cannabis to what you see in the US. And we're one of the few companies that demonstrated that regulatory adherence and compliance around the world. So what's your play? How, how have you been planning and gearing up for some of these moves in the US and taking some of the learnings and some of the struggles from Canada with you? Well, you know, right now, uh, given our trading on the NASDAQ, we're not allowed to participate in the U.S. until federal legalization. But as I mentioned, it's a big world around there. And so we've demonstrated, you know, in a lot of different areas, but particularly around science and innovation. We were excited to announce our big initiative in the biosynthesis, which really brings strong economics to those minor cannabinoids that are incredibly profitable. So we've invested there. We've added key talent to our Canadian business. Like I mentioned uh, earlier, we operate in over 12 countries around the world. And so the evolution of connecting with consumers, innovation, regulatory compliance, and key products in all those key markets benefits us at a time in which we can participate in the U.S. I expect that to be very soon. And there's no doubt that Canadian LPs will have a big role to play you know, in the U.S. cannabis business. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.